Hello, welcome to another episode of Dog Day Chess. This episode is quite different from previous ones in that I won't be uh, talking about the game of chess itself, but rather about a particular training program to help improve uh, your chess play. There's a book called Rapid Chess Improvement written by Michael De La Maza, and in it he describes a training program that he's developed to help players improve their tactical play. Now the premise of the book is that intermediate players will benefit more from improving their tactical play than from improving their positional play and that all the positional knowledge in the world is useless if you can't see a few moves ahead or if you needlessly blunder away, away pieces. Now the book is somewhat controversial. It does have its critics. Um, critics insist that strategy and tactics must both be present uh, in a good player. Tactical opportunities come from good positions and good positions are achieved by tactical maneuvers. Uh, and they're also critical about the promises that are implied by the book. Uh, that, for example, that your internet, that your your rating will jump by hundreds of points. Um, but I did go through the program, so I want to uh, describe the program a little bit and also describe my experience with it. So the first thing you need to do is you need to find a thousand tactical problems. And these should be uh, a mixture of mates and combinations that win material, and they should all come from real games. Okay. Now, uh, I use the Shredder Chess app for iPhone, which uh, coincidentally comes with a thousand puzzles built in. Um, and uh, I emailed the person who developed the app uh, to ask him where the puzzles came from, and he did confirm that they all come from real games, and they are a, um, a mixture of mates and combinations to win material. So let me describe uh, the program a little bit. And the way it works is that you solve all thousand puzzles. You work your way through all thousand puzzles seven times. Uh, this is called the seven circles. So in the first circle, you solve the thousand puzzles at a rate of 16 puzzles per day. Okay, So that uh, might take uh, just over a couple of months. The second circle, you solve those same thousand puzzles at twice the rate. You do 32 per day. The third circle, 64 per day, and so on and so on. And when you get to the sixth circle, you're solving 500 puzzles per day. So that circle only takes two days to complete. And then the last circle, the seventh circle, you do all 1,000 puzzles in one day. Okay. And the idea here is that the first, during the first few circles, you're developing your ability to calculate. And during the last few circles, you're developing your pattern recognition. So, as I went through the routine, I, uh, I tracked how much time I was spending on it and how long things took. And so, for me, this is how it worked out. Um, for the first circle, I was spending uh, just over an hour a day. And then for the second one, similar, just over an hour a day. And that took about a month to do. Third, one, for, third and fourth circles, a little bit more time. When we got to the fifth circle, now if you look here, the fifth, sixth, and seventh circle together only take one week to do, but that's one pretty intense week because for the first fifth circle I spent uh, over five hours a day and then almost seven hours for the last uh, to sixth one and on the last day it took me over eight hours to work through all thousand puzzles. Now the book warns that on the heaviest days you might feel faint, nauseous and sick. Um, fortunately I didn't feel that way but I did suffer from insomnia during the last three circles and probably from the hours of intense concentration that I was putting in. So I did track my rating uh, as I was doing the program and, 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 and afterwards. Um, so when I started the training program my internet chess rating was 1450 and when I finished the program my rating was up at 1550 so the net result uh, seemed to be that uh, I had a modest increase of a hundred points okay um, so there you have it uh, you can uh, I suppose decide for yourself if you think it's uh, something you'd like to try uh, personally I enjoy working on puzzles um, so the first three four circles were were not a chore for me um, uh, and to this day I still work on puzzles on a daily basis I only spend perhaps five minutes a day uh, but I do enjoy it. The last uh, three circles, obviously, that last week is intense. Uh, but I must admit, after completing the seven circles, I did 
uh, feel a sense of accomplishment. And uh, you know, when I reported back to my my chess friends that I completed it, uh, well, they were pretty impressed. Um, I'm the only person they know that's actually uh, completed the program, and uh, they they tell me that they they noticed they noticed a, a pretty marked uh, improvement in my tactical abilities uh, since then. Um, so I hope this is uh, this was uh, helpful for you. Maybe you might want to look into it a, a little bit more for yourself. And um, as always, uh, I hope you got something out of this episode, and we hope to see you again.